I think we we take it so much for granted. I mean, if everybody who used a blue parking place would write a letter and say, hey, you know, I mean, that was a political decision to put blue parking in, and it took advocates enforcing it to get it there. Um, I think people don't realize all the effort and work it took to get them there. I mean, they just take it for granted. I think if we're going to have a society based on anything other than just money, we have to start valuing something besides just property. Otherwise, we live in a society where, you know, in terms of national disaster, property will be defended and people will be left to die. And you'll be expected to pay for the people protecting the property. Which makes no sense, but uh, it, it seems to be a, a dichotomy that's going. Um, history, I think if you're going to be a smart politician, if you're going to survive anything more than at a subsistence level, you know, you have to know where you come from and how people interact. I think one of the worst things with disability history so far has been how they made it so saccharinely sweet. Man, there were power trips and there were fights and there were people uh, running over each other in wheelchairs and telling people, you know, what a dirty belly crawling person you were, you know, bottom feeder you were. Uh, I mean, these were real people with real flesh and blood and real emotions and they, they loved each other and messed each other over and uh, did everything that we monkey people do. Um, they weren't paragons of virtue by any means. They were real people. And I think, you know, I, I keep hoping that Ed doesn't, the sanitized Ed, I keep hearing about the sanitized Ed, um, just like a sanitized Helen Keller. And I keep comparing it because uh, if you read anything about Helen Keller, that was a woman with, uh, with some courage. Uh, and she said some really outrageous things and really confronted authority. And today she's remembered as, uh, you know, this sitting next to God, like Mother Teresa almost, you know, in this halo kind of thing, which has no bearing with, uh, with her input. And I think that, that's the problem with Ed. I think Ed will... Uh, is not going to be remembered for what he was. And, and the whole movement is based on what he and, and the people here did in the 60s. There wouldn't have been a Justin Dart. There wouldn't have been an ADA. There wouldn't have been anything unless what happened here. And uh, I'll debate anybody on the East Coast about that because uh, I think they're really off base on their uh, New York disabled in action kind of strutting around. Not that those folks don't deserve a lot of credit, but uh, they did not inspire the world like, like the people here did.